Pneumocystis carinii, otherwise known as PCP, is an opportunistic infection that causes infection in the lungs, typically targeting people with weakened immune systems. It was uncommonly found until the HIV AIDS epidemic in the 1980s. People receiving drugs for organ transplants or cancer treatments are at risk of infection, and people with AIDS have the highest chance of developing PCP. It is the leading cause of death infecting 75% of AIDS patients. It is estimated that about 5 million people per year get PCP, and the number of people who have ever had this disease is countless. PCP is found in nature and is transmitted through the air. When inhaled, the fibrous tissue of the lungs is attacked and the alveoli become infected, which can lead to hypoxia. PCP lives in the fluid in the lining of the alveoli, normally not affecting healthy people because they have the immune systems to fight the disease off. Its incubation period is about four to eight weeks, and common symptoms associated with PCP are shortness of breath, fever, non-productive cough, and chest pain. Occasionally, the disease will spread outside the lungs to other organs such as the lymph nodes, spleen, liver, or bone marrow. PCP doesn't respond to antifungal treatment. Normally, antibiotics will be given to the patient. Trimethoprim, sulfamethoxyl, and pentamidine are most commonly used to fight against PCP because they are the most effective, but can cause serious side effects such as fever, decreased number of white blood cells, hepatitis, irregular heartbeat, and electrolyte imbalances. PCP is reoccurring but very preventable by maintaining a healthy immune system, eating a balanced diet, and not smoking. For any questions or information on pneumocystis carinii, please call the CDC at 800-232-4636.